Okay, I'm Rex Bryant. I'm, um, I'm a, a boat builder, businessman, director of my company in Gisborne, New Zealand, east coast of North Island. Word got around that I could build a boat and one or two people said, look, could you build us a boat? And that was a hang hangout undertaking because I had little more than a couple of saw horses and a skill saw and a, and a dirty old mig welder. Well, I reckon all our fabrication and welding was spot on. Absolutely perfect, but we didn't have a design. Don't rate myself as a designer. So I uh, got, on, got on the phone and started looking around and came up with a gentleman that um, to me has set me on a path that has still influenced me to this day. Unfortunately he's long gone from the industry. Terry Reid was his name and um, would love to buy him a beer if I knew where he was. Love to take him for a ride in one of these boats after all these years that I'm still in business and he's long gone because um, he, he, his legacy lives on with me as far as I'm concerned. The type of people that are buying white pointers have been mostly involved in boating one way or another for a, a period of time. Owned probably several boats. They've earned money from being successful and they want to mix in those circles and they want to spend their money once and right. Um, they um, have long gone past the fly-by-nighters and the one-offs and the one-man bands and the whatevers and they want to they, they want to put their eggs in a more sure basket. So after all that bullshit, the, the customers just want a real good, honest Kiwi boat. I think um, what sets a white pointer um, apart from every other boat that call themselves a plate boat builders or quality boat builders or custom boat builders, we all use those words. I think in a nutshell for us, there's um, a design shape about these boats that make them so incredibly rigid. It's a slow process to build these boats. They're not a mass production boat. They take a fairly delicate approach to a fairly hostile task. The trailers at White Point of, uh, build are, um, don't go unnoticed. They are a big component of our boat package. They are custom for every boat. We've developed this design, um, actually it starts right back in my days in Canada, for loading uh, jet boats onto swollen rivers. And this, this bunk and uh, cradle system has just become such a popular design. But we put so much custom detail into them to make them such a beautiful component of the, of the package. So the trailer, yeah, we, we take the trailer very, very, very passionately. I really enjoy spending time uh, with the customers. We don't get enough of it, quite frankly. We, um, <clears throat> we, we, get, you know, we get engrossed in the build and, and there, is, there, is, there is interaction there. But um, you know the real time and the payback is, is afterwards and, and seeing them use their boats and um, it's where I learned to appreciate more about them. I was probably a, you know, a boat builder first and, and way down the order of fishermen and um, I can appreciate when they say they want their boat to do something, I've learned enough about the trade of fishing, albeit none, not even close to what they know that that's important to them. So um, that comes from, from hanging out with them and enjoying their feedback. Now the, the, the trip in tra Tasmania was, was probably the pinnacle of my, of my career. I just had no idea what we're in for, you know, they, oh, they, there's tuna out here, there's tuna out here, oh yeah, yeah, well tuna in New Zealand are you know, pretty rare and, and so we just, you know, went for it and we were cruising along in the David Krushka 8 metre and all of a sudden we hear that the, that the, the 730 Bruce Franks guys had scored and they said, oh she's a barrel, she's a barrel, she's going to go 100 and I'm going, gee, did that really happen? Will that happen to us? You know, and you get that, you get that real buzz that, you know, it's a possibility that could happen to you and, um, and it did happen to us, you know, we, we got our turn, we didn't quite make 100 but we were in the 90s and that was still a barrel and I just thought this was just incredibly epic man, what an experience, you know, so it was, yeah, huge.